Hi, it's Jason from iChoice. Thanks for watching. This segment's on refinancing. What makes somebody pick up the phone and say, Jason, can we get together and just have a look if you can help me? Well, let's have a look at the reasons why somebody would want to refinance. The most important one is to get the structure right. 19 out of 20 people do not have an efficient financial package with their salary hitting the offset account, using the bank's in, uh, money for 55 days on their credit card interest-free with the full amount sweeping every 55 days and having it work as well as it should. Also, it gives us a chance to look at it and increase the limit maybe. So one thing a lot of people like to do is unlock their equity, whether it means keeping a much higher loan limit and keeping it all in one offset account for future use, remembering you only ever pay interest on what you actually use, or a lot of people prefer to have two offset accounts, which most of my clients do. If it's going to be for a specific purpose, for example, if the extra funds are going to be investment, let's create loan B, have a separate offset account attached to loan B and keep it nice and separate, which would be full and you wouldn't actually pay any interest on it unless you use it. So that's one thing because you never know in the future if you have the capacity to go and unlock your equity and get that extra money. I know that when people leave their full-time employment and become self-employed, they're really stuck for about two to three years and they can't actually access the, the equity in their property. The next reason why someone would consider refinancing is pretty obvious that the banks are getting more and more competitive every six months with their interest rate discounts. Uh, it wasn't long ago when a 1% discount was, was a big thing to get for borrowing half a million or a million dollars now. We've far surpassed 1% now. Discounts way up to 1.4, 1.44% are achievable. Normally it's based on the limit size, so sometimes by unlocking some of your equity, you actually get that double whammy of a better rate as well. Now, what's the cost to refinance? Well, that's an interesting point, and it's really important. Something that when I prepare for a client, I prepare a recommendation, and I detail to the dollar what it will cost. You're looking at about $240 in government fees. That's registration of mortgage, discharge of mortgage, and a title search fee of normally $11.80. In addition to that, the bank you're leaving might charge you an administration fee or a settlement fee of between $250 and $350. Say so you're up for about $700. Uh, but look, $700 can easily be made up in the savings by switching to a bank with a better rate. In fact, it's quite normal for me to save clients two, three, four hundred dollars $400 every month just based on their borrowing. The other thing at the moment is that banks have something called a refinance rebate, which is simply them giving you a bonus of up to $1,250. Just they're, bas they're basically buying your business. They're covering the cost of refinance, plus giving you some extra. So there you go. You can actually refinance, get into a better interest rate, get into a better structure, and actually get paid to do it. So there you go. Thanks for watching.